yes, yes, yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome to welcome. Yes. Um testing, testing, one, two. You are live at Roots Triple Treasure Celebration. Just in case you're wondering where you are, that's where we are today. Lockdown style, May 9, 2021. Kamika Taylor's annual birthday book and business launch event. All right. So get ready, get ready. We have a lot in store for you. And on screen are the hosts for this evening. I am Shauna Gay Gregory Edwards, friend of C. Ruth Taylor, and also a co-author of one of her books, Us Girls. And with me is the lovely Raquel Newman. Tell us about yourself, Raquel. All right. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much to, for coming to our dear Ruth Taylor's birthday book and business launch. I am Raquel Newman, as Shauna introduced me. I am a digital marketer. I'm an author. My book is The Albino Marketer. I am also a business consultant. I freelance and I've been doing that since before working online was cool. So I've been doing that since 2012 and loving it. All right. So that's my lovely co-host for today. And we will be taking you through a three-segment program Listen, it's lockdown style, it's Mother's Day, it's Ruth's birthday, and it's just bashment. Well, when I say bashment again, Raquel, but all of you <laughs> them will know me. Bashment, slap wet, the thing I will sell off, all right? So we have three segments, as I said earlier. Uh, you're going to be hearing birthday celebrations, big ups. You're going to be hearing about a surprise launch uh, that she has. We have a keynote speaker. We have prizes, surprises. What else you want to tell them about this evening's program, Raquel? Well, I just want to say you are in for a treat. And anybody who knows Ruth and who has been to her birthday bashes before, trust me, you're going to get something amazing. And it's Mother's Day, so it is extra special and spicy. Right. And as you say that, Raquel, we want to say a big, big shout out to all the mothers who have joined us. Special big up to my mother. Happy Mother's Day to you again. Um, don't know if she's watching, but big up to my mommy and just to all the mothers who um, have tuned in to join Ruth in her celebration today. Right. I just want to say big up to my amazing, wonderful mommy. I, I know she's not watching because she's not a Facebook lady, but she'll catch the replay. Mommy, I love you. You are so good to me. You're amazing. Big up, Mrs. Rona Newman. Enough love. All right. And the, the wishes are coming in. Patricia Reed was says, happy birthday, Ruthie. And I saw one from Joanna Richards saying, Woohoo, happy birthday. <laughs> blessings will continue to chase you. Definitely, blessings are running down. All right. So, Raquel, this is not the first that Ruth is having this birthday celebration, right? Oh, Joanna, everybody look extra pretty today. Thank oh, you. thank you, Joanna. To the birthday girl and thing. Right, Raquel. So, this is not the first that Ruth is doing something like this, right? No, in, you know. COVID made these online parties cool. But Ruth has been doing this since before it became cool. Uh, if my memory serves me correct, and I think it does, she has been doing it since, if it's not 2018, it's since 2019. It's actually 2018. It's 2018. Thanks for the correction. And this is what? Two, two, three years before, two years, full years before COVID made the Zoom parties, I think. But yeah, we were, you know, banging out roots parties online before. Right. And of course, it would be remiss of us to not big up the lady herself. Kamika, big up on your strong. It's your day. Um, please, nobody type to ask how old she is. She's <laughs> old enough. All right. So happy birthday, um, Kamika. Blessings on your, your day. 
Yes, Kamika, darling, I want to tell you, you are an amazing friend. God has put you on this earth for a reason. I want to say big up, happy birthday. I sing it a song in about the birthday song that I sing. I can't sing it on ear. <laughs> but you got your special birthday songs. Big up. May God bless you with many, many, many more birthdays to come. And you know how old Kamika is? She is wonderful years old. Amen. All right. So now we are just going to go back in history a bit. Because as we mentioned, viewers, this is actually the third year running. And so we want to give those of you um, who were not a part of those before as to, you know, the programs from 2018 to 2020. And if anybody was here from that time, you can just, at the end of the video, just put a little indication to say, yeah, Madeira from start. Or if it's your first time, you know, so we can give you a special shout out. So now we're going to have Triple Treasure highlights from 2018. my day, the big 4 and I'm also launching 
seven books from my fearless 40 collection, the 2020 collection and the fearless 40 series and uh, launching the Authorpreneurship Academy. And you're going to hear more about that later. My co-host this evening will be here. And we're going to be having different guests on the program. And they'll be joining us from time to time. So just going to wait for a few more persons to All right, so there you have it, a trip down memory lane. Boy, Raquel, I was trying to keep the age a secret, but if persons were paying attention, then it is out there, all right? But that's not our focus today, right, is it? No, 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 no. We're celebrating Ruth. We're not celebrating her age, whatever that age is. Right, but we just give God thanks for, you know, preserving her um, these many years. So from our audience... Is there anyone on today that you have been there? You were there from 2018. Um, you have been to all the celebrations thus far. Is there any first time visitor, as we say, um, in church? Just indicate so that we can shout out and big you up. And remember, it's Roots Day, so send in those greetings. Um, S. Morgan says, age is just a number. Happy birthday. All right. Mm -hmm. you, S. Morgan. So we'll see it too. Ah, oh, Patricia really. Yeah, really? <laughs> Patricia I just load up the things. So. <laughs> All right, okay. We're not counting. We're All counting right. the blessings. All right. So, as we said earlier, um, Raquel, there are three segments to this show today, right? And we know it's Mother's Day, and you know, persons are you know locking <laughs> down with mom and have their things planned and so on and so Ruth it's so kind that we we don't intend to detain persons you know way past maybe an hour and hour 15 minutes so believe it or not we are in segment two or John says she oh, thinks she missed one yeah I was there last year I don't think I was at the first one I remember being there last year I was there for both because oh, I, you were there for, oh, cool. oh yes, I am an on. Remember, oh, you yeah, know, you had the you had the, the online before. But the online before yeah. online was so, a thing. Uh, yeah, all right. Big up yourself, Raquel. You did a yes. So now we're going into segment two, where we are going to be talking well, about business, right? Um, so last year was the launch of the Entrepreneurship right. Secret Academy, right? And we have a testimonial about that. And then Raquel, you will take us through what it is that Ruth is doing um, yeah. this year, right? So last year she launched the Academy um which is basically to teach people how to write um you know if you were following her you would see she talk a lot about rocket writing and so on i think you are part of that academy oh yes it is Raquel. amazing you want me to tell them a little bit about the academy um well you can go ahead and then we will hear also from another one of her students but yeah you can of course just just a little touch um the academy it's a wonderful place where Ruth teaches us how to write publish and uh, really win with books and when we talk about win with books we talk about entrepreneurship um very affordable and trust me you get more than what you pay for i'm not going to say anything 
else about it, you will see the amazing testimonials. But I can tell you, when Ruth comes to teach, she comes to teach, but it is so interactive. It's... Oh, crap. But certainly, Raquel, after we... Um, so we're going to take a video testimonial and then Raquel will give our viewers, you know, much more detail as to how you can enroll in the academy. So this testimonial is coming from Miss Patricia Fletcher, and she's author of the book, Hezekiah, Many Houses, One Life. So let's just hear from her now as to her experience as part of the Hi, entrepreneurship it's academy. Pat Fletcher from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, bringing greetings to you and congratulations on the launch of your Pen It to Win It Triple Treasure Package. It's been such a pleasure, Ruth, being a part of your teaching curriculum. I want to thank you for helping me to navigate the chaotic and maze-like process of publishing which we started in January of this year. And thanks to you, Ruth, I can announce that by next month, my book will be published. You have taught me about formatting, laying out the book, and you have taught me all the steps to choose the right book cover and all the steps to get to resources that turned out to be economical for an indie publisher, like an indie writer like myself. So I'm indebted to you, Ruth, for your exemplary teaching skills and your vision to enroll 10,000 writers um, in the Caribbean over the next while. I want you to know I'll be offering you all the support I can at this end in Canada to promote this newbie that you are launching. God bless Ruth with gratitude and love and enjoy this celebration and happy mother's day to your mom was produced such a blessing for this world bye now all right so mama tell you come you cutting up you know, because that review is coming all the way from canada right that's one of our students in the academy from canada and we're using this word raquel author entrepreneur can you know you can get a bit tongue twisted if you don't if you don't know how to say it properly but as you mentioned earlier you know you were saying to us that part of the academy is that where ruth teaches you how to leverage a book so it's not just about writing a book and getting people to read but you know there are ways to to use your whatever is a story in your book and to actually generate an income um, and we'll hear further down. And we know how the world is today. Not many people or not everybody likes to sit and read a, a printed book, you know? Um, so if you can do a function around a book or something, which we'll hear more about later. But you're going to tell us, Raquel, how can persons enroll in Roots Entrepreneurship um, Academy? Okay, thank you. So the we're going to be putting in the link in the chat to where you can go and register for the academy the academy is the intake is going to be from june 1st to june 16th the new intake because we, we it's, it's kind of like a school we want to give you value for money it's not a case where you are just coming in at any point in time because the value is really it's really there when we have that twice monthly, when um, Ruth has that twice monthly intake. So it's from June 1st to June 16th. It's 47 US dollars per month. Or if you choose to pay in Jamaican dollars, it's $8,000 per month. Um, with the Academy, what Ruth wants to emphasize, see, I'm getting tongue tied or tongue twisted what she wants to emphasize is you can leave at any time you can cancel your subscription at any time however to get the most out of the academy you really want to stay there for at least three months 
So see, we have it on the screen right now to join the Authorpreneur Secrets Academy. You're going to go to authorpreneursecrets.com. There is where you can follow the simple steps to register and get signed up for the Academy that is starting soon. Don't miss out because the Academy isn't open for students right throughout the year. It's only twice per year. So the next intake is going to be in January. Or is that June? No, no. When I said the next intake, meaning if you miss the June oh, intake, oh, right, right. so I shall say that. So let me clarify. Thanks, dear. If you miss the June intake, you're going to have to wait until January again. And trust me, people in the group, there have been breakthroughs. People are really seeing how they can profit from their books. And you don't want to miss this and have to sit down and wait another six months while other people just zoom, 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 blazing a trail. And I see some of the students, I see a few students that are in the academy that's also here. Shout out to Auntie Jojo. Yes. So by all means, it was on the screen, entrepreneursecretsacademy.com. I hope I... Yeah, that's it. You okay, it. good. And I think I can go out on a limb to say that Kamika is the only person in Jamaica I know who is doing something like this um teaching people how to write teaching people how to leverage their books uh i don't know of anyone else in jamaica who is doing this so you know extra credits mm. to you Ruth. extra but credits a year, pioneer as usual yeah certainly so last year um kamika launched the academy this year though raquel she is launching um a podcast Oh, yes. She's taking yeah. it to the next level this year, right? And right. it's a podcast with a purpose. And one of Kamika's vision is that she wants to make the Caribbean the home of independent publishing. And her vision for 2030 is that 10,000 Caribbean entrepreneurs will be raised up and you know kind of start a movement because you know caribbean people we, we love to tell a story trust me that's part of our tradition we sit down and we talk and we talk about back in the days and anansi and, and whatever mm -hmm. but not everyone goes the extra length to actually put those stories you know on paper to make it a legacy for others and and i think it's very critical now raquel because with globalization and I find our children are getting so Americanized and they would know so much more about what's happening up north than what is taking place in their own culture. So, you know, this movement to raise up authors who will put their stories and, you know, their Caribbean experience on paper so that the next generation can have this to, to, to refer to. So Joanne said, big up yourself as Caribbean people telling stories and singing songs. Just, just that does that's just who we are. Yes. Us, um, Caribbean. Um, so we're going to be seeing uh some clips now, Raquel, that tells us about the podcast. Yes, we I, mm -hmm. go ahead. No, no, sorry. Oh. My bad. Right. And then after we have, you know, an activity where, where you will engage our audience um, in, you know, going on to have a look at what the podcast is, etc. All right. So let's have a clip. We, we Hi, I'm Henneke Wadkiss, Porter's. Speaker, coach, author of Podcast Power, and the host of the Entrepreneurial You Podcast, inviting you to listen to the Entrepreneur Secrets Podcast, brought to you by C. Ruth Taylor, best selling in the author and the Caribbean's most trusted voice on entrepreneurship. Tune in for inspiration, information, and innovation to write and win with books. Get ready to dominate entrepreneurship. You don't have to be the greatest writer in the world, like, you know, but if you have information or you have experience that people truly care about. And so when I took that 
understanding and I applied it to Amazon and book writing, instead of me just sitting down and saying, I'm going to write whatever I want. I instead ask, what is it that people want to read on Amazon and that they're not being served? Uh, and when I started to approach that, it was really a game changer for me. Uh, now, if you're Ernest Hemingway and you can write whatever you want, you can sit down and write whatever you want. You'll do fine. But I'm no Ernest Hemingway. I just can't sit and write about a purple flower and people love it. I'm just not that good. Uh, not that creative. But when there's people who like really need to solve a problem and you can explain it. I'm Tamara Francis, educator and editor. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and share the podcast with your network. If you'd like to increase your impact and income with books, visit authorpreneursecrets.com for more resources, including the book, Pen It to Win It, and Authorpreneur Secrets. Join the Authorpreneur Secrets Academy membership group for courses, coaching, and community rest, publish and win with books. Enrollment is in January and June each year. You may also sign up for one of Ruth's Publishing Made Easy courses or private coaching to write and publish your next book. Until next time, go pen it to win it. Prima Jamaica Limited is pleased to be associated with Ruth Taylor and as part sponsor of your podcast, we want to congratulate you on the launch of your podcast. Certainly, the power of a good example cannot be underestimated and what we believe you will do through this new podcast will be very valuable not just for Jamaicans and for Caribbean people, but people all over the world. Certainly the work you're doing through Extra Mind Innovators as well as through your work as an entrepreneur is an excellent thing. And so we are pleased to be associated with this as a company and wish you all the best and every success for what you're seeking to accomplish through your podcast. Again, congratulations to you from Frame Art Jamaica Limited. All right, so it's over to you, um, Raquel, to you know tell us a little bit more about the podcast and to invite our guests to go and you know sample. All right, thank you. So, um, basically, what this podcast is, it's really taking the way how Ruth delivers her message to the next level. A lot of the times, you know, I remember Shawna, you said some, some time ago, sometimes people don't have the time to, to read. Um, but with a podcast while you're driving, you can be inspired to write a book. That is what Ruth hopes to achieve with this podcast. She wants to inspire you. She wants to educate you. She wants to give you the tools that you need to get into entrepreneurship, to publish that book, to write that book, to win with your books. And really, you saw two clips of two interviews that, and I, I, in a second, I'm going to send you over. And this is one of the activities that we'll do. We're going to send you to where the podcast lives so that you can go and download it and start watching. Not now, but right after the celebrations. One other thing that Ruth wants to do as part of the vision to raising up 10,000 authors is entrepreneurs is to showcase local talent. No, I know a lot of times we we are listening to these podcasts and it's all Americans or Europeans or you know people not of the diaspora. And so we Ruth wants to be the voice of the diaspora. So audience. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to encourage you the activity right now. And the first person to do it, Shauna, should we give the prize to the first person to do this? You think you, you think you we want to give it them no or or what? Talk Just let me. them go and then right. ask them a question from something that happened previously. Right. 
and all then right. get a prize for that. But we do want we want everybody to go and check out the podcast. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Now. We're going to go on Google Podcast and Spotify, type in the name of the podcast, and just to remind you, it is Authorpreneur Secrets Podcast. So author a u t h o r p r e n e u r authorpreneur secrets podcast so go on google podcast and spotify type in the name of the podcast and subscribe and guess what i want to know who going to reach first so the first person to do it type did it in the comments so we're giving you some time and i guess it all i'm gonna Sing happy birthday to Ruth. Ooh, yes, so go and subscribe. So I'm gonna sing. Uh, let me see if I can sing the Jamaican one. No? Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you, dear Ruth. Happy birthday. Like, I guess I, I'm not the best singer in the world, but <laughs> come yeah, on. Or, or, or we can't, but I don't know. I don't know the rest of it. Not just so let me sing that one more time. So, giving it that time, guys. So, you're going to go to Google Podcast and Spotify and hit that subscribe button so that you never miss an episode once it's published. So, I'm going and to do my best. An episode there now, right, Raquel? Yes, episode there's the first is episode is ready. Yeah, and they'll be able to see episode two tomorrow. Tomorrow, right. So, uh, but don't check out, every, and an episode is going to be released every Monday. Right. But don't watch the episode, no, don't listen to the episode, no, no. Mm -mm. It's just not time that for that. Just tell us that you were able to get on. Yes, so come on, who is doing it? I'm waiting for somebody to say subscribe. So, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy it, it, birthday. Ooh, All right, so let's take some big ups in the meantime. Um, mm -hmm. I'm seeing one from Patricia Fisher says, Hi, Ruth. I'm here for you. Happy birthday. Congrats on the launch of the podcast and your triple treasure package. Happy to witness this landmark milestone in your life. All right. Awesome. Fisher. Happy birthday, Ruth, from Susan. Hey, Jojo. A Jojo did it. Oh, so someone ah, done on, on Spotify. Spotify. All right. Thank so you. Woohoo. All right. Guys. So let's give away something now, um, Raquel. Do you want to go first? Because I know both of us have goodies. You want me to give away mine first, or you want to give yours first, or doesn't matter, does it? I don't think it matters, you know. You, you can go ahead. Um. <laughs> All right, so let, let us see if our viewers were paying attention. And my question is, which company, so I need the name of the company and the name of the CEO, who is sponsoring or part sponsor of Roots Podcast. Name of the CEO and the name of the company. And you stand to win a $100 Digicel courtesy of Roots Triple Treasure. So we'll give them mm. the jeopardy. That means responses should start with. I know, right? You don't want to hear me All right. forever. <laughs> Graham Art, Reverend Omar Morrison, says Cheryl Morgan. Congratulations, Cheryl. You just won for yourself a $100 Digicel credit. We will have that sent to you as soon as we have concluded um this broadcast all right please send in those greetings this time Raquel, we're going to be taking some more greetings um, oh yes stations big ups and i'll allow you to read those as they come on screen so this is where remember it's a party you know it's not just a yeah party, it's a party <laughs> so send in your wishes send in your commendations sending your big ups so that we can con convey those oh you know what raquel people probably wondering oh cheryl is in canada oh cheryl, oh you want to give her credit to 
Yeah, who you want to give it to then? That's the bold. First bold can give it to Cheryl. I'll allow them. Oh, but wait. I think, but then again, Jojo, I thought Jojo was first. But if Jojo is local and she was the second person, I think we could default to giving it yeah, to we Jojo. Can, we, we work that out. Yeah. We work that out. So people probably saying, why am I seeing Raquel? Why am I seeing Shauna and his roots birthday? All right. <laughs> Go around herself. She's here. And she'll make her entrance very, very soon. Just sending your wishes. She's seen them. She's getting them. Oh, oh Jojo, do you use um flow? Yeah, because we do have a flow one. We have a flow. So the we, we can give you the flow that we have, yeah. and then the next person gets a digicel. Certainly. All right. Come All on. Right. I'm not seeing any more wishes just yet. Uh, I'm scrolling up to see. Oh, Rohan uh, King says, happy birthday, Ruth. Take, take that one, Raquel. Ah, uh, yes. So, Rohan King, happy birthday, Ruth. You are amazing, passionate woman of God. Keep it up. Great things are coming ahead. Rohan, thank you. That is a wonderful, wonderful birthday wish for our dear friend, Ruth. Any, anyone else? And if you want to say something else, you know, don't feel like it because they say it one time. You can't say it again. That's right. So All come right. on. So while we wait on those, um, most persons who are on, would know a little about Kamika already. Some persons might be new, wondering who is this uh, C. Ruth Taylor. So we have a little something to, to help persons. Dr. Vivian Carr says, happy birthday, Ruth. You are a world changer. Oh, yes. All right. So... We are pushing ahead on our program. And I think at this time, Raquel, we should be having a video about Ruth. Yes. Just to introduce those who probably don't know Ruth or who want a refresher course on Ruth, but we have a short video about our dear, wonderful birthday lady so let's meet see C. The Ruth Taylor aka the rocket writer a Jamaican entrepreneurship expert Ruth has created the entrepreneur secrets Academy and the first Caribbean entrepreneur summit around her book entrepreneur secrets write fast publish affordably and generate lasting income as an Amazon best-selling author of 21 books, she has coached several Caribbean authors to become Amazon best-selling authors. Her mission is to raise up 10,000 winning Caribbean entrepreneurs by 2030, to ensure fewer books die in the minds of their authors, that more manuscripts become published legacies, and precious lives are transformed with the turn of every page. Let's welcome C. Ruth Taylor. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the moment you have been waiting for, this is a time for the big reveal. And so let's welcome on set none other than the lady of the moment, Miss Kamika. Pen name C. Ruth Taylor. Welcome, Miss Taylor. Hi, everyone. I'm C. Ruth Taylor, inviting you to become part of the writing and publishing revolution that's taking place in the Caribbean. I'm an entrepreneurship specialist and uh, an advocate of independent publishing. Recently on World Book and Copyright Day, the Minister of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sport 
the Honorable Olivia Grange encouraged Jamaicans to write and publish their stories. And this is exactly what I am about on this entrepreneurship journey. Furthermore, the director of UNESCO, Dr. Sadia Sanchez Vegas, in a message said that the power of books must be fully harnessed. We must ensure their access so everyone can take refuge in reading and by doing so be able to dream, learn, and reflect. Now, in that statement, she spoke about the power of books. And we want you to tap into the power of books beyond reading and beyond book sales. And we know that sometimes the cost of publishing can be prohibitive. And so we've created a solution for every pocket. Okay. Yes. Hi everyone! Yay! Yeah, the birthday girl! Okay. I'm in the building, Welcome. I'm in the building, I'm in the building. <laughs> Thank you, Shauna. Thank you, Raquel. Happy Mother's Day. I see my mom is online wishing me a virtual hug. <laughs> I see Patricia and she said she found a podcast on Google Podcast. I see one of my inner circle, Davia, is online saying, happiest birthday, you are too sweet to beat. Keep transforming, motivating, impacting. Your awesomeness is unstoppable and contagious. Glad me know you. Glad me know you too, girl. I see Joanne is online. Ruth, you've been inspiring, guiding me for years now. May your deepest desires be fulfilled according to God's will for you. Many more happy birthdays. Thank you. I see Susan is there. I see our keynote speaker, Dr. Vivian Carr, is there. I see my friend Cheryl, who's been there from the first book launch. She was on my team and she's in Canada. And so this is like the live session is a little intimate gathering. I see Rowan King. I see Suzanne. I see who else? Yes, I see my key friends. I see Patricia Reed. Whoa, Antipat. Glad to have you. You are here last year. So this is intimate. We know that many people will catch the replay. So we're not watching the numbers. All right. So thank you so much for coming to this birthday book launch celebrations and um, this year we're doing some new things every year is a new thing last year we launched the academy and this year as most of you've been following me know it's the book launch and so this segment is really i'm going to tell you about the book and the ladies put me on because who better to tell you <laughs> about the book <laughs> than the author of the book and this year is pretty special because for the first time i'm launching an audio book yay so now we have no excuse if you don't want to read you can listen so we're cutting out the excuses all right and there's a little backstory to that so the book that is being launched this year is this one penny to win it so the title is penny to win it it's already on amazon penny to win it in the kindle form and the ebook form but the the audiobook you can only get from me direct sales from me so let me tell you the backstory behind um penny to win it Raquel talked about the fact that I'm always doing things before. So before people started having online parties and stuff in 2019, I had my online birthday book launch event. And, uh, you know, the next year was lockdown, <laughs> 2020 and uh, it continued so in a, in, a, in a similar way i i keep uh, you know doing some things before the time and this is based on the lord's leading so before 
COVID hit Jamaica, 2020 lockdown, I went on lockdown the month before. <laughs> I needed to seek God's face. I was getting a number of literal dreams and I couldn't figure out what they meant. And they were recurring and come back to back, back to back, back to back. And a friend of mine said, why don't you shut down everything and spend seven days and seek the Lord? And I was like, shut down everything for seven days? How am I going to do that? I mean, I have clients, I have work to do, I have deadlines. How can I shut down everything? And she said, well, you know, God demands your time. And so with that said, I told everybody I'm going on a lockdown and uh, no phone call. I will not be available. That was February 2020. And I told my clients and everybody and I went to seek the face of the Lord. But I had a, an invitation to go and speak to the pastors at the Missionary Church Association. They have this pastor's day. And Robert Morrison, CEO of Frame Art, who at the time was the vice chairman of the, the board, invited me. And I was like, why is he inviting me? I'm not a pastor. I am a woman <laughs> <laughs> to go speak to all of these pastors. But the topic he gave me was significant. It, the topic was writing for impact and legacy. And during my time of seeking God to understand what the dreams were about, the Lord kind of opened my eyes to my call in a, in a, in a different way. And I, he had me looking up Ezra. No, my name hasn't changed from Ruth to Ezra. That's not the point. <laughs> but Ezra is a, is a, was a scribe. And his role in Israel, he, the book of Chronicles, for example, Ezra is the author behind that and his team, and they preserve the history of Israel. And the Lord started showing me the, the role of archiving and chronicling our stories. For example, when the Israelites returned from Babylonian captivity, there were some persons who did not get their inheritance because their the records could not be found for their family lineage. You know, some of your grandchildren won't know what they have because you didn't write your story. <laughs> some people won't come into their inheritance or get delivered from certain things because you refuse to write your story. And when I went to speak at that Pastor's Day conference, I mean, Pastor's Day um, seminar, the Lord was just revealing the things to me. We don't have no time to write. He said, well, I've given you the rocket writing system. You can show persons to write a book in 24 hours, write their story, nonfiction that is. Uh, books are not selling. The Lord began to reveal. It's not about the number of books that are sold. Write the vision, make it plain so that those who read it can run with it. And then he showed me, you know, who are the runners? The elders are not the runners. It is the young people who will take it and run with it. And I'm like, how does that relate to, 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 to books? And how does that solve the problem of authors saying that books are not selling or people are not reading? And he took me to Moses, Joshua, and Josiah. Now, I'm not going to be long because I'm not the keynote speaker. I'm just giving you the backstory behind the book and the power of book and why you need to get this little book here, Penny to Win. One of the things is that people don't like to read um, big books anymore. So, it, you know, if we can write smaller books, that will help to solve the problem because people read these short books or write short books. But back to Moses and, peep and, and the new model. So... Moses wrote down his experiences as he led the children um, out of Israel, out of slavery, and liberated them. And he chronicles ex his experiences and the commands. When Moses was dying, he that same book collection of writings was passed on to the next leader, jo Joshua. And for Joshua to be successful, the command given to Joshua by the Lord was that he should not only be strong and courageous, but everything that Moses wrote down is what he needed to focus on in order to lead the people effectively. My God, that, that just hit me differently. So 
instead of writing and thinking that everybody needs to read your book, part of why you need to write is not just write, write down your personal story, but write down your story of leading your experiences because it is part of succession planning. And write it in such a way that the next person can read it and understand it. And so, you know, Joshua's, Joshua led successfully because Moses left him a, a writings that he could read. And then when one of our leaders died in the missionary church, Reverend Peter Spencer, he was one of the first students at JTS. He helped to buy the Kendall property. He helped to, to, to purchase land for Jamaica Theological Seminary. He was so faithful to God and faithful in finance. They call him, there's the two things that represent him, the Bible and the calculator. And at his funeral, Robert Morris, the CEO of Frame Art, Jamaica Limited, sponsor of our podcast, he said, it's a pity that, there we don't have any he didn't write any book nothing was left and when i heard that it's as if something just hit me in my chest and i started to cry and i was sharing reverend morrison reverend dawes i said how many more elder statesmen will die with the wisdom and the the knowledge in them that the next generation need to thrive i said what if moses had not written it's not just that Joshua got the blueprint and you know, others benefited. I said, what if Moses had not written? And so started the concern, a number of Christian leaders, business people, grandparents, dying with all this wisdom in them because they think writing is for super smart people. Writing is daunting and we're not writing to preserve our legacies. And the thing hit me like a ton of bricks. And then a number of leaders i know started to die even young leaders that i was in dialogue with and it was just like a burden was on my heart how many more are going to die with the wisdom the stories in them my people need to write is what i i was hearing god saying publish his glory among the nations and then the lord showed me the part about people objecting people are not reading he took me to 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 josiah and this is why I've done the first audio book. Josiah was a young leader in Israel. Israel at that time was in a decadent um, position. The society just run down and things were not going good. And the judgment of God was about to come. And Josiah started reigning, I think, when he was about 16. But as a teenager, but when he was in his 20s, somebody brought him the book of the law the book of moses this is 300 years after moses wrote that book 300 years after no just say i did not take the book and read it himself somebody read the book to him so josiah got the audio version the what he heard what was read to him so changed his life this is one person a one leader hearing how the people ought to live and everything the story was read to him he didn't read it he was so impacted that he said i have to do something i have to change my society I, I, and he gathered all the people did every single person get a copy of the book no he gathered all the people and the priest read <laughs> read the book to the entire people and the people were so impacted. They stood for hours to hear it. And the society was transformed. And I'm like, my goodness, this is a revelation. <laughs> we, need the, uh, we need to encourage our people to do audio. And we need to get our books into the hands of the leaders. We say people are not reading. Don't worry about the people who are not reading. They can't get the audio version. You need to get your book into the hands of the leaders who will take the message to the masses and God will be able to bring forth transformation. And so this is why, these are some of the things that I've put in the book to cut down on the excuses. And you don't even have to write a book, 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 book. You can journal stuff that you pass on. And so another book is coming later called The Legacy Journal and The Legacy Journal Guidebook. But that's the story behind it to teach us how to, the importance of writing, why we need to write. And then too many authors have written books and they're just stuck on a shelf or stuck in the, in, 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 in the bookstore. And I'm saying, you know, there 
you can not just write and leave a legacy, but there are over 30 different income streams that you can earn from a book. And I've documented these income streams in the in the book and i'm showing people how you can write and retire right so it's a little book but it's talawa and now i'm just going to let you hear <laughs> a little piece of it so you're gonna get the audio version just now and then the ladies are gonna come back with another giveaway so listen up well <laughs> you're gonna get the audio version we're not doing no book reading at this book launch <laughs> you're gonna get the audio version so stay tuned it's coming right up Sean we don't have time to read a book of 200 pages said the participants in my client's leadership training session. These were educated leaders and board members whom she had given an assignment to read a particular book before the training session. These participants did not read the book, but were gladly listening to her as she taught them from the very same book. My author client's experience is the perfect example of the new author model, which I am teaching my authors. It perfectly illustrates my book writing catchphrase. If you write it, you will speak it or teach it. If you write it, you get opportunities to share it. That is your message and the book's content with the masses. They will also pay you to learn it and hear it, even if many do not read it. This new author model emphasizes writing valuable short or small Ruth-like nonfiction books and using these books to establish a platform and position yourself to accomplish your mission and purpose rather than solely focusing on volume of book sales. This new author model, which I call the Ruth Authorship Model, patterns the book of Ruth in the Bible. It is one of the shortest books in the Bible, but it is well written and powerful. Although written over a thousand years ago, it is still impacting lives today. The Ruth like authorship model is about leveraging the power of a small, valuable book for greater impact and income as you seek to transform your life and the lives of others. It is penning it to win quickly to rocket launch or advance your new or existing business, career, cause, organization, or purpose. It acknowledges the English proverb that the pen is mightier than the sword, of course, when wielded expertly. Penny to Win is one of the 100 Keys to Win at Life from my book, Keys to Win at Life. It represents my personal mission of seeing lives transformed through writing. It is part of my mission to activate more Caribbean indie authors for greater service and impact through authorship and authorpreneurship. Authors are agents of transformation. And as a Christian, I see authorship as an essential part of the process of expanding God's kingdom, advancing noble causes, and becoming financially fit in the process. If done right, it will alleviate the financial struggles of many nonprofit workers, full time Christian workers who want to serve faithfully but are being hindered by financial lack. If you are in this category, it will help you to write and retire right. Indeed, this is exactly what writing nonfiction books is doing for me. Penny to Win It tackles some common objections to authorship and common problems faced by authors. It explains a new authorship model and outlines 21 secret powers of a book which can amplify your reach, increase your income, and transform many lives. With that said, let's learn how to pen it to win it. All right, so there you have it from the lady herself. And you just had a snippet of the audiobook. And I hope you are listening and paying attention because we have one more item to give away. All right. And then after this giveaway, we will have, of course, you know, Ruth, how she does her thing. So we will have a 
speaker for the afternoon and we're wrapping up promise you that we would not have been long so let's see those of you who were paying attention in the audiobook ruth mentioned she gave the name of the author model and she also told after whom it is named so the first person to type what is the name of her author model and who is it written after first person to type that will win yourself another credit of your choice with a flow or give yourself so let's see who was paying attention right raquel let's see oh yes and those questions seem very easy if you're paying attention you would know you all want the Jared, let's let, let me do the Jeopardy song, the Jeopardy song again. Mm, 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 mm. Wait, somebody get it? <laughs> says Ruth, that's part of the answer. So remember, so it's a need... two part question. What's the name of the, the, the model and after whom is it named? I wonder if Cheryl again get the answer. So Cheryl says the Ruth authorship model written after Ruth in the Bible. That is correct. Full answer. Mm -hmm. A two-part question. All right. Congrats, Cheryl. You want yourself another phone card. Um, <laughs> you can choose who. Yeah. You Ladies, um, can I sweeten the deal? Cheryl is not in Jamaica. She's in Canada. <laughs> and since this is the first audiobook, Cheryl, and you've won twice, I'm going to give you a free copy of, you're going to get free access to the audio book. Okay, wow. <laughs> awesome. You know, prizes and surprises. Surprises. <laughs> the there, so just pull that one out of the box. So Cheryl, you yes. get access yes. to the audio All right. Great. Great. So great. Congrats, Cheryl. Congrats, Cheryl, on that. And Good effort, Joanne. Um, forget you still have yourself a phone card, so <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're going to take in in this segment now, which is really our final segment. We're going to be having our keynote speaker. Let me inform the audience that the the keynote speaker, her presentation is going to be done in two parts. So you will see the first part, and then we'll have a little break and then you will get the conclusion of that speech all right so let us introduce the keynote speaker and i know that she she had sent a greeting earlier she is dr vivian carr and Dr. Carr is the first female president of the Caribbean Graduate School of Theology. Some of us know that as CGST. She is an educator. She's a counseling psychologist. And she's also the former president of the Library Association of Jamaica and past president of the Homeschool Association. So at this time, we will be hearing from Dr. Car, um in a pre-recorded presentation so just allow us time to get that up for you and let us know how you're feeling so far how's the vibe so far please post in the chat you know how has it been going so far The book is a powerful platform to advance a new or existing business, career, organization, or cause, and can help to actualize your personal goal. So says C. Ruth Taylor. If I were to ask you why you want to write a book, or why do authors write and publish books, I'm sure you would tell me to sell them in order to make money get rich or to become best selling author many authors have written excellent books but they never got rich 
or benefited from the many opportunities that come with being an author. They never became famous or world renowned for their years of labor as they ventured into the unknown. Good afternoon, morning, evening, or good night, wherever in the world you're listening or watching this video. My name is Dr. Vivian Carr, president of the Caribbean Graduate School of Theology, otherwise known as CJST, and an ardent fan of Kamika Ruth Taylor, my book coach, CJST alumna, and host of this event. Thank you for joining us on her annual birthday book launch. Hello, Kamika. Ruth, your friends, family, and all those who are part of her social media network, including the Indie Entrepreneurs Tribe. The theme of this triple treasure live online celebration is Beyond Book Sales. The Cambridge English and Webster Dictionary defined the word beyond as a preposition meaning far away in the distant than something and to the farther part or side of something respectively as we add that concept to the issue of book sales we're therefore looking at what is there or what else is possible for authors, publishers, booksellers, far away on the distant side of selling books? What else is there to be achieved apart from writing, publishing, and selling books? C. Ruth Taylor has shared that the objective of this event is to encourage more Caribbean authors to publish and leverage books. That is, to maximize the returns or the benefits to be derived from writing, publishing, and selling books. I invite you to journey with me as together we explore three of those benefits that may be derived long after you have written published and sold your books. I will also share with you the inside story behind the writing and publishing of the book, Untold Stories, Volume 1, CGSD and its transformational impact. The first benefit I wish to highlight is the creation of a legacy. This may be achieved through legal deposits. So we'll be looking at creating a legacy through legal deposits. Do you know that you have a legal responsibility to ensure that every book you write and publish is deposited in the National Library of Jamaica or the country in which you belong? Yes. The mission of national libraries is to collect, preserve and document and facilitate access to their nation's cultural heritage, such as books written by their citizens, about their citizens, and in their countries. You see, legal deposit is a means by which a comprehensive national collection is gathered as a record of the nation's published heritage and development. It is enforceable by law and requires producers of documents, books, to deposit with one or more specified agencies, copies of publications of all kinds produced within the country in any medium and by any process for public distribution, lease or sale. In Jamaica, every national publisher therefore should within a month of the publication of a document or book, deposit in the legal repository two copies of a printed copy and one copy of an audiovisual material. Please note carefully that any national publisher who fails to comply with the regulations of the Act commits an offence 
and is liable on summary conviction before a resident magistrate to a fine not exceeding $50,000. Now let's turn our attention away from the legal obligations though and look instead at the benefits to be derived from depositing your book at your national library. As a former Deputy Director of the National Library of Jamaica, I speak from experience about the joys expressed by many of our Jamaican authors as they brought copies of their books to be preserved so that long after their deaths, their families, friends and fellow citizens can continue to access and enjoy the fruits of their labor. Authors whose houses were destroyed were able to access once more the hidden treasures of books where they deposited them at the National Library. Secondly, as we explore what lies beyond book sales, let's focus on the management of your intellectual rights and the income to be derived from the use of your publication and intellectual capital by others. So we're looking at the management of your copyright and your royalties. Did you know that there's an agency in Jamaica that is charged with the responsibility of managing your intellectual property? Yes, the Jamaica Copyright Licensing Agency, Jam Copy, represents the creators and publishers of most of the literary works published in Jamaica and overseas. Its mission is to one, manage a worldwide repertoire of copyright content on behalf of creators and publishers of text and image-based works. Two, to fully facilitate access to copyright content by way of licensing solutions. Three, promote respect for copyright right, creativity through education and compliance. Four, support the creative industries. Five, love you for enhanced protection. Sixly, manage and distribute royalties earned to the their affiliate. John Copy affiliates represent or reflect a wide range of creators and publishers of text and image-based works in Jamaica including textbooks, novels, poetry, anthologies, storybooks, scholarly books, newspaper, journal, magazines, visual art, and print. Who doesn't want them and their relatives, their heirs, to benefit from the work that they have done throughout their lifetime and up to 95 years after their death? Which of you have the resources needed to manage your copyright globally in a digital age? We therefore thank Jam Copy for its work in managing our intellectual property. Finally, let's examine the other benefits to be derived beyond book sales. Multiple streams of income. Multiple streams of income. Coach Taylor will tell you that there are over 30 ways to earn from a book. I will share three of them with you as we look at how we can increase our income flow. One, coaching and consultancy. Write a book that you can use in your teaching, your coaching, or your consultancy program. Two, Merchandise, create products about your books and t-shirts, bags, cups, whatever. And thirdly, face-to-face -face or online events. Have a book-centered event on the topic of your book. Event and book or speak your book. Topics and use your book to secure speaking engagements and sell the book. Better still. Why not write a book as a fundraiser? A fundraiser, yes, a fundraiser. Let me share with you the birth of the CGST story.
All right. That was a wonderful, wonderful first half address from our guest speaker. I, I trust that, you know, even though we at a celebration, we really got something and we got the message what Ruth is saying. And I see Patricia Reed saying, I'm a board member of Jam Cup Copy. Awesome. Um, let me see if there's anything else. 50 G's. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> I think that that was referring to the fine. If you don't register your, your books at the National Library, you can be subject to a fine of 50,000 Jamaican dollars. Oh, oh, Lord. <laughs> indeed. Oh, Lord, indeed. <laughs> so we learned We're, something. My heart. <laughs> oh, my. Wow. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Before we move into part two, unless let me just pause. Anybody else want to give any shout out? Because we, we're coming to a little surprise that we have. And then we're going to do part two of the speech. And then we're going to have um, the birthday lady giving her final. So if we have any more shout outs, just shout them out. But, you know, it's a birthday and covid you know that thing say covid mash up the thing but covid don't mash up the thing you know we still want to give the birthday girl something yeah if we were all in one place somebody would have brought maybe a money and pedicure package valued at ten thousand dollars because those things they're not so cheap anymore let me see oh so Cheryl morgan is saying looking forward to hearing this on audio I listen to books on Audible. Whoop, whoop, awesome. So this is right up my alley. I will also have it for others to listen to. Awesome. All right. And you're going to hear more about that because Ruth has more to tell you about her book launch. So I was saying COVID, you know, things are COVID mash up the thing, but we're not going to allow COVID to mash up the thing right so what we want to do we want to open up we want to give ruth some presents we can't physically give her anything but we can virtually give her a present and um what i'm going to do i'm going to give you her a coat number it don't matter how much on on fiverr sometimes the the fiverr people will say you know instead of asking for a tip They'll say, buy me a cup of coffee. <laughs> so you can buy Ruth a, a manicure package. You can buy her a little pedicure. You can buy her a cup of coffee. <laughs> Starbucks, Starbucks. We, we don't deal with just the Nescafe that you get from out of the machine. Yeah, we want a, want a latte. Yes. So, <laughs> well, Ruth wants a latte. I'm speaking for her. I'm sure she probably don't <laughs> drink coffee, but, you know. So we have two ways in which you can gift ruth a present it's her birthday this is the covid way to give gifts nowadays right so you can give it via her ncb bank account and her account number is three zero four seven six eight one three four so i'm going to repeat that again um i don't know how to type in the chat so no. ruth if you can oh oh no okay <laughs> so i'm just going to give it to you again you can send your birthday gifts to ruth at three zero four seven six eight one three four Yes, we want to give Ruth something for her birthday. She has, she has given us so much. And I think anybody who knows Ruth knows that if you come to her for advice on one thing, and if she says something else is amiss, she's going to help you with that other thing. 
You understand? We can't, and I know, I know that everybody here would have been bringing something to Ruth. Everybody here. Now, her PayPal email address is kamikataylor at gmail.com. So that's C-A-M-E-K-A-T-A-Y-L-O-R at gmail.com and it is there on screen and you can um, oh sorry to, to, no problem you know where the account is held um it's it, half a tree it's half a tree so it's the ncb half a tree branch kamika taylor is the name the account number is on the screen 304-768-134 and her PayPal, for those of you who are overseas, who may want to give a little thing, it don't matter how much is Ruth's birthday. I, I, I mean, I know if, it, if you're bringing a gifts, gifts, sometimes it's easier to give cash, you know, the, the, the birthday girl or guy, if it were a guy, can you know, buy whatever they want. So we just want to honor Ruth as she has been honoring us from day one. And I know anybody who has worked with Ruth know Ruth goes above and beyond. That's why she has she has used extra mile for a very long time because she's always going the extra mile. And just to put a disclaimer that this part of the program is actually the host's privilege. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. Yes. This was not Ruth's idea. So not at all. Host's privilege to get her gifts to her. All right, so thank you very much. We will be taking the second half of the speech now, Raquel. Yes. And after which the lady herself will come in, she will talk some a, a bit about her brother deal and she will just close off her show. I recall receiving a call from Kamika Taylor, fellow CGST alumna in December 2019. Among the many things we discussed was the institution's financial status and ideas on how to alleviate the challenges it was facing. As we spoke, Kamika shared with me the concept of writing a book on the impact of the graduates of the institution and what has been achieved in the world. Interesting concept, I thought. I was so excited. And I contacted the then president of CJC, Dr. David Corbin, and shared the concept with him. He too was elated. And so together we began the process of writing volume one of Untold Stories. Our focus was on documenting the history of the institution its first leaders, and its many outstanding graduates. We took care in ensuring that outstanding graduates from all of the graduate programs offered throughout its existence, and those from as many Caribbean territories from which its graduates came were included. The journey was evenly paced initially, but as the deadlines approached, so did the challenges. We had difficulty locating and reaching some persons, and Ruth got commitments from at least two individuals who died before submitting their contributions. How did we respond? We contacted their families and used their eulogies and tributes prepared about them to ensure that they were included. As I reflect on our publication journey, we thank God for all the hurdles. We learned that with support and the will to write and publish, it can be done successfully. We also learned that many Caribbean people are dying without recording their stories. We learned that Caribbean nationals have offered and can continue to offer a lot to the world. 
we learned that we owe it to our children, their children and generations to come to document our stories. We also found out that we can navigate the writing and publication landscape successfully. And finally, that it is possible to publish and write on a budget. So in closing, I invite you to partner with us as we learn how to win with books financially. We visit, we ask that you visit the CGST website and publish a, and purchase in closing. I invite you to partner with us as we learn how to win with books financially. Please visit the CGST website and purchase a copy of the book for yourself and another for a friend. If you are impressed by the stories in the book, return to the page and donate to the future success of the institution. I can assure you that author C. Ruth Taylor will be registering this book with Jam Copy and that I will be accompanying her as together we deposit a copy at the National Library of Jamaica. We'll be staging a host of events in Jamaica, the territories from which the featured graduates came within the Caribbean and across the globe. Join us as we use the book Untold Stories, CGST and its transformational impact as a platform to advance the existing business and to help reach scores through various mechanisms designed to win beyond book sales. I thank you. All right. <laughs> Go ahead, Shauna. Will you have it? Um, it was our pleasure, you know, serving in this way and being on this platform with you. So it's over to you, Lady Kamika, as you close <laughs> your show. Yes. Thank you so much, ladies, for partnering with me in this initiative. If you think the ladies did a good job, send up some hearts in the in the comments or just type good job, good job, good job. Thank you, Shauna. Thank you, Raquel. <laughs> And thank you for staying, um, those of you who stayed. Ladies, thank you so much. We could not have done this without you. For those who stayed to the end, yes, um, doc, uh, Lady Pat says, very nice, Dr. Carr. Um, Cheryl says she washed her hands. <laughs> um, Joanne says, awesome job, guys. So... Um, in closing, all right, so we have a book that we believe that everybody needs to hear about, all right? So we're going to say goodbye to the ladies just a little bit. We're going to take them off the screen just a little bit, but they're still here, okay? <laughs> They'll be back shortly. All right, so... Thank you so much for staying. I know people will watch replay, but we have a book giving away and it's a triple treasure celebration. So we're gonna we put a combo together of the ebook, the print, and the audio. You, you get the audio exclusively from me. Uh, you're gonna get it from my Authorpreneur Secrets Academy unteachable so if you go to our website authorpreneursecrets.com slash resource you're going to see the um the deal or triple treasure box set so just authorpreneursecrets.com slash resource you're going to see the deal there and what we've done is put together some bulk deals that i'm going to if you get 50 or more persons to buy a set as in the print book the ebook and the audio the ebook and the audio come together and we have some bonuses we have a course to teach people to write and we have a a, a book that teaches people how to write called the rocket writer you get that as well in 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 in, in the deal but if you get 
50 or more persons to buy this set. I mean, people can go to Amazon and get the print book for $14.95. They can go there and get the Kindle book for $7.99. But if you want the audio, ebook, and print, all everything, then it's going to be $47 US dollars and it comes with some um, bonuses. You get a companion course, how to write, and you get the ebook, the Rocket Writer as well and uh, where we have the audiobook you can access it across all devices we are you all you need to do is uh, you can go to the page and purchase for yourself entrepreneursecrets.com slash resource and you see the link i'm going to put that on the screen shortly but if you get more than 50 persons to buy we have some special so i'm going to share those at this time just give me a sec to bring that up. All right. So in Jamaica, we talk about brata. So if you get 50 to 100 persons to, 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 to buy, give $57, $47, sorry, <laughs> or 7,000 Jamaican for the print, ebook, and the audio, then you can give five spaces to persons in our Publishing Made Easy course. So we have a course that teaches people how to publish called Publishing Made Easy. It's $99 for the course. We are giving away five spaces if you get 50 persons to buy the box set. Meaning, so you don't have to buy all 50. You can encourage 50 persons. And we'll also come and do a free seminar um, to your church or any group it uh online that is right now and uh, in churches i think you can where possible for gatherings once we have at least 10 persons we we'll, in the kingston spanish town area we can do a face-to-face -face thing if you want that so if you get 50 persons to buy, you, get, you you can get five, give away five spaces in a publishing made easy course. That's worth 495 US dollars. And normally for a seminar, I charge at least 100 US dollars. So uh, I wouldn't charge you for that. That is the brotto. All right. Similar to like what Reverend Morrison did, I will go and do that. Now, if you get 150 persons to get this book, the ebook, the print book, just get the whole set. 150 to 450. We're giving away 10 spaces in the Publishing Made Easy course. And the next time that course is coming around, Publishing Made Easy, let me look at my calendar here. That course, I think, is coming back in July. So we're giving our 10 spaces that's a value of 990 us dollars we'll give away a penny to win we'll do a free seminar and guess what a book writing deal now there are persons who want to write the book and they need guidance they don't know how to write it some want the book written but they don't want to write it themselves i have a program called the rocket writing program where i teach persons how to speak their book and the cost of that is 750 dollars if you want us to do everything, meaning we sit with you, work it out, and then we polish that and get it ready to be published. If you only want the guidance to write it alone, that's 500 um, US dollars that you work with me one-to-one, um, -one, you get access to the rocket writing course. So you will get a book deal. So you know anybody want to write the story, but they don't have any money to... <laughs> to take on the coaching well just encourage them to get 150 persons to buy a box set the penny to win box win it box set the triple treasure deal and they'll get a free book writing deal plus you can give away 10 spaces in the publishing made easy so you can in other words 10 persons can learn how to publish for free value that 9.90 and the final Brata Delight deal is this one. If you get over 500 persons to buy the box set, again, we give away 10 spaces in the Publishing Made Easy course coming up in July. 
All right, so we're giving ourselves May, June, July, three months to do this. And we can do, we'll do a free seminar to your organization and you will get a publishing contract. In other words, if you get 500 persons to buy the box set, you'll get a publishing contract to the tune of 1500 US dollars. That means I will help you to publish your book, both the print and the ebook, put it on Amazon, cover all the costs for that. The cover design, the editing, the proofing, everything needed to get the book ready. If you convince 500 people to buy the box set and when they buy the box set, normally it's, it's what, $47 for the box set. I think when you do bulk buys, it comes on, I think maybe $40 or it, it is reduced and you still get bonuses with that. You get the, 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 you get some other bonuses with that. So. If you think these are good, because remember that we want to raise up 10,000 entrepreneurs. So I'm sweetening the deal. We want to, to, to help a thousand people to write their books uh, between now and the 9th of December. So these bulk buys are not forever. And these brought a delight. It ends on the 9th of December. And so it starts with 50, 150 minimum. 50 then 150 then 500 and the you get so you know raquel was saying when i share this that what if i do it three times get it in 500 batches doesn't mean i will get three publishing contracts <laughs> if three if, if different persons do that that means it's more than one publishing contract you will get we're able to take it on so um just go ahead and um get on board let me know if you want to be part of the the bulk buy um thing all right so <laughs> you stand to gain a whole heap so i'm going to show you the website you can just type in entrepreneursecrets.com right now we're closing guys i'm just giving you an opportunity and then we can just i'm going to show you some more videos of me over the years and you can send up your birthday greetings even my cat now wants to come and say happy birthday she's saying you've been on too long <laughs> so i've got to show you the the website where you can go and there you can access the podcast as well so let me hop on over to the website so you can see the website what it looks like that's what it looks like authorpreneursecrets.com and when you go to the resource page so you go on it you see podcast academy you just type on these things click on them you can get that free copy of the rocket writer to start your writing journey right now if you want to write your book we discuss what is authorpreneurship how you can write fast publish without breaking the bank you can book your free consultation 30 minutes so if you've gotten a free one before, you can't get another free free one. And uh, uh, listen to the podcast. We have Patricia's testimony on the page. Join our membership academy. We have that. And then the resource page to if you are interested in helping us get these books out and get the buy now seat there. That's the page, the resource page. When you click buy now and learn more, it takes you to the site where the book is on the audio book is on teachable so you go there it tells you the benefit so if you want to harness the power of a book if you are a transformational leader with a story and a message get this book if you're an aspiring author who want to do more than sell book get your message to the masses and learn how to move your books from a bookshop and bookshelf into the hands of real readers get this book uh penny to win the audio the ebook you get access to the companion course you get the ebook the rocket writer you also get design to win roadmap and um locations in jamaica in a couple of weeks it will be at york pharmacy right and then at my ebenezer's house of beauty rochester avenue hopefully we can get some at cjsd 
and uh, Bible Society as well. And uh, remember, the audio is exclusively from me, and you have to go to the site to get it. So I trust that you'll partner with me. And uh, um, if you want to win a publishing contract for free, if you want um, a writing contract and gives, get free seminar, get some spaces in the academy, uh, this is it. And by the way, members of the academy, our membership group, you get access to the audio book and the ebook as a bonus as part of your membership so that's another plus of being in our entrepreneur secrets academy so let's hear what persons are saying and close out <laughs> thank you joanne joanne says i love your website <laughs> and she's good and nicole says great going kamika uh, kj said nice vibes um good knowledge base here and don't forget to listen to the podcast every monday so tomorrow we're gonna have former um minister government minister and minister in of foreign um trade and affairs in charge of the diaspora delana franklin is going to talk to us about his book the jamaica diaspora and then after him we have a leader in the publishing space dave chesson kindlepreneur he's gonna um he follow up and then after that, you'll hear more person. So now it's time to just send up the greetings. We're closing out. I am going to show you just a clip of me over the years. Happy Mother's Day to my mother. Happy Mother's Day to everybody on who is a mother on the stream um, right now. Thank you for coming. Thank you for sharing. I look forward to partnering with you. And it has been five months of hard work. And I'm going on vacation tomorrow. <laughs> I, I need a break. Um, but uh, I give God thanks for the strength to do what I do. And thank you for sharing um, in it with me. So here are some highlights as we close out the show. Send up your comments and your great things. Thank you for staying with us. I'm going to highlight your comments. We're closing out. Final comments and greetings as we close out. So that's it, everybody. Thank you, Dr. Carr. Um, seeing some more greetings. Thank you, Tammy. Congrats. Good job. So we're closing as we started uh, with Master KG. We're closing with that. Thank you for staying, everybody. Thank you, Raquel and Shauna. You did a fabulous job. Um, thank you, Lady Patricia. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Nicole. 
Thank you, Dr. Carr, for such an informative presentation. Thank you, KJ. Thank you, Patricia Fletcher, uh, for your testimony. Thank you, Joanne, for your continued support. Thank you, me, for being here. Thank you, everybody. Um, this has been good. So we're closing out with Master KG. We don't own the copyright. Um, you two don't sue us. Hi, everybody. This has been fun.